Root beer. Root beer is served in thick, thick mugs. Why? Why thick mugs? Because they can give you less root beer for the same money, right? <laughs> Let me test this to make sure it's really root beer. <laughs> it tastes like Pepsi to me. Oh, by golly, it is Pepsi, all right? <laughs> now, you guys be seeing something? The root beer goes right out to the edge. Make it look like you've got a lot of root beer in there. You got a lot or a little? Answer begin with an L. Turned out a little because you got a lot of glass. But to the viewer, you see the right out to the edge. I wonder if there's a reason for that. How many people say, well, no, there's probably no reason for that. It's kind of just the way it is. HC gang. Let's look at a top view of that on the board. Okay. Here's our root beer. Okay. Let's, let's look at a point right here. Light is going in all directions from there, huh? Now it bends when it gets outside, so let me just put in here. Light's traveling in all directions. And some of that light is coming like this, and some of that light's coming like that. And the light that's coming like this, when it comes through, what's it do? Does it keep going straight? No. How many say that when the light comes out from the glass to the air, it will speed up? How many can't say anything, they're kind of just waiting and they take notes? Do you see it's going to speed up, okay? Okay? It's like the opposite of this. When these wheels roll, roll from here out, this wheel gets out first, it starts going faster, so it just unbends. Okay? So what happens, this light over here, the waves of light, okay, will now kind of come like this, bend like that. See what I mean? And over here, a place over here, rays of light coming in all directions, maybe light coming like that, Bends like this. A person's eye is right here. A person's eye looks out and sees root beer all along the edge. It's an illusion. The root beer is really in here. If the light didn't change speed going from here to here, then you'd see the thickness of the glass. And I saw a very, very neat thing one time. I saw a bottle of Coca-Cola. And the bottle of Coca-Cola was embedded in a piece of plastic. So it turns out that the light wouldn't change speed very much going from the glass to the plastic. And when you look at that, you can see the Coke like this. <laughs> and you can get a better representation of the true volume of the Coke. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. But when you take this out on the air, boom, there's a big change of speed, a big bend. And that bend makes it look like it's filling up more room than it really is. An example of refraction. Any questions? Could you get the same effect if you put in water? Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try that. That's a good idea. Excellent idea. I never even thought of that. See, get, see, see the, see the uh, uh, Ted right after class, will you? Let's try that. You kind of can. Take a, can you kind of, well, you, it's, it's hard for you guys to see. It turns out I've got the water a little bit chopped up because I want to show you something else. But yes, you do get that effect. Excellent, excellent, excellent question. How come I never thought of that before? <laughs> That's one thing about teaching. You continually get new ideas by people like you. That, and sometimes the simplest questions, boom, give them, isn't that nice? See? Do you guys know why you can kind of see the glass now and you couldn't before? How about that for a homework question? Would that be a good one? We'll think about that. <laughs> Let me show you something else with that.